Hello. One situation that is very common when working with limits is trying to determine the limit of a function without knowing its uh, algebraic uh, expression. Instead, you are faced with the graph of the function. So all you have to do is get the information you are looking for directly from the graph. It's a very easy way to uh, determine the limit of a function graphically, but some students are still struggling with this, so I'm going to show you how exactly we can uh, determine the limit. For this example, what we want to determine is the limit of this function f of x, which I don't know what expression it has, when x approaches 1 from the left. Another thing I want to determine is the limit of this function f of x when x approaches 1 from the right. And uh, I also want to determine the limit of this function when x approaches 1, and we know what that represents. To find the limit of the function when x approaches 1 from the left, if I'm looking on the graph on the x-axis, the value of y is approaching minus 6. That is the limit of the function f of x when x approaches 1 from the left. Again, on the graph, I'm going to look on the x-axis when x approaches 1 from the right, I can see that the y values are approaching minus 6. The limit from f of x when x approaches 1 from the right is minus 6 as well. So now, based on the definition, we know that if the limit from the left and the limit from the right of 1 are equal, they approach the same value, minus 6, just like in our situation, then I can conclude that the limit of f of x when x approaches 1 is also equal to minus 6. And uh, one more thing I want to find out about this function is the value of f of 1, which I can very easily uh, take it also from the graph because as we can see it's minus 6. And that leads us to conclude that f of x is a continuous function when x equals 1. Let's take another example. And the same way, graphically, we're going to try to determine the limit of this function f of x when x approaches 2 from the left, from the right. Find the limit when f of x approaches 2. So let's find these limits first. From the graph, I can see that when uh, x approaches 2 from the left, the y values are approaching the value of 2. So this is our limit from the left. It's 2. When x approaches 2 from the right, on the graph, I can see it's on this uh, green branch of the function. So the y values are approaching 3, actually. So this is the right limit of our function. Now, based on the definition, because the left limit and the right limit exist, but they are not equal, we can say that the limit of f of x when x approaches 2 does not exist. And the final thing for this example, uh, f of 2, which we can see on the graph, is going to be 2. And also, based on the definition, of continuity for a function, we know that since the limit of this function when x approaches 2 does not exist, then uh, we can conclude that the function f of x is discontinuous at x equals 2. So as you can see these problems are quite simple. So as long as you understand what the left and the right limit represent for a function, it's uh, extremely easy to uh, determine the limits uh, in a graphical uh, manner. You don't have to calculate anything, you just have to take them from the graph. So I hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching.